I wish to be a rock star. <laughs> My name is Tenzin Dolgar and I'm a Tibetan and I'm living in exile. My name is Tenzin Tenzin Sutta. Tenzin Tering Lakpa and I'm a Tibetan in exile. Living in exile. My name is Tenzin Pema and I'm a Tibetan uh, living in exile. My actual name is actually Tashi Dorji. That's what my my father tells me. There was a tragedy in my family where I lost my sibling. Many of, many of my uh, well wishers thought that um you know i won't survive i can achieve death so they gave me a name tenzin means who's going to retain the buddhism like you know the buddha who that is why i mean because his holiness has given the name so you get a part of his name from where the tenzin comes from is from him so it's more like we are all his children if i say chewing they will say as if it's a chewing gum or all like that chewing <laughs> it's actually pronounced as chewing chewing I was born in Tibet, the capital city of Tibet, Lhasa. In Kurupra, I was actually born in Bailakupi. I just came to India by, you know, <clears throat> crossing the Himalaya mountain. I don't have a uh, idea of that time I was 4 years old. It takes almost 1 and 28 days to reach to Nepal. I didn't know anything about I all forgot and I don't know anything. When I remember when I recapitulate my you know, journey to India, you know. This all I heard from uh, later i heard from someone my tears rolled down my cheeks so i just want, i don't want to you know recapitulate all these moments it may it, it's really been it's really painful for me so i never think about this my parents decided that uh, they wanted to give me good education i was like oh what do you call it uh, the kind of a boyish kind yeah tomboy so they sent me uh, to kunor it's an anglo indian school um founded by robert thomas sorry robert stains we watch a kung fu from the movie right so we do kung fu ha 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 we do like you know <laughs> tragic death he fell off a horse and died fun girl for me okay and uh, and all the boys will come okay and i'm the only single okay and i fight and i you know founded the school and get thrown out of a horse <laughs> they flatter okay oh you're so like so good fighter okay <laughs> then i boost up and then i fight more more and more <laughs> <laughs> Initially I think there was horse racing and we had quite a lot of Tibetans there and they, they were like really surprised like seeing a oriental in the class like you know we kind of uh, you know bonded like really well but nobody looked at us differently the only thing um when you are different you have a feeling like you know you'll be discriminated and you know the feeling is there the very feeling kind of like haunts you but uh, apart from that uh, that was what i took away from the school the bonding and like the tibetanness and everything that came because just you know being away from all of it actually brings you closer to something so i think that's what happened for a lot of us but after completing my school i never been there i wish to go back but i told him before that i hate traveling that's why i never been <laughs> being a tibetan it doesn't mean that you have to marry with tibetan girls love love can be ha- love can happen to anybody uh, see some we also say that love is blind but who knows where your life next life will be my career uh, my job career my work is totally finance i'm a sap technical consultant i would say uh, the pursuit of happiness even when i have free time at work i'm always uh, writing sops for tibetan students i love basketball but also i also love other games cricket basketball football all uh, trying to organize an event or a workshop or something like that i'm eating all this indian food not only our tibetan food but also like indian food or uh, i'm either trying to get something for somebody else or trying to arrange somebody's uh, admission chicken butter chicken masala chicken butter masala yeah but i of course i i have a life too i go watch movies sometimes and uh, a horror horror movie i like 
Anything that does not have any fighting. That uh, Japanese, what, what a grudge, grudge, grudge. Jim Carrey, you know, comedy, com, car, comedy. Tom Cruise, I love his style. I love the way he's dressed. I used to go around you know, with my grandmother. That's, I think that's how it is for Tibetan refugees. <laughs> so I still remember all the names of the movies that we watched together. George Clooney, he almost like now catching 50, but girls are still under him. <laughs> Don't record, okay, this. Please don't record. <laughs> <laughs>
So that time what I feel is, you no, know, oh, I don't, ha- I don't have my country. That's why I, I have to, you know, go under such sin. So I feel sad. When I was in Tibet, I can speak the native language, native language. So now it's been, it has been more than 12 to one decade. So I forgot the native language. I can't talk with them. If I, even if I call with my parent, I can say hello only. Because they speak their own native language. I forgot that. And they can't speak that language that I'm speaking right now. What I feel is a real solution is like, you know, spread the awareness among the Chinese. Like, you know, because they are the one who can change things. If not us, they are the one who can change things. We've um, gathered momentum uh, when we were protesting and we were on the cover of every news channel in Beijing, pre the Beijing Olympics. Post that, everything is you know, been silent. Each and every individual have you no know, responsibility to fight for Tibet freedom. Fight for Tibet freedom means we have to bring guns and all. It's not like that. Fight for freedom, suppose like me, you know, I'm a student. So I have to study very hard and contribute my knowledge to the others. Others means Tibetan society. We've always been like hoping for that one government that will bring in change. We've always said, oh, the next government will be a lot better. And we've said that for not only the Chinese government, but also for the U.S. governments and all the other parts of the world, basically. And Because in the end, if we expect something to change for us, like our future to change, it would probably come from the decisions or the legislations or the laws that they would make, right? Uh, I really wish to go back my go back to my uh, homeland, Tibet. I think uh, if, if that wish is going to be granted, then it would be for Tibet to get freedom or something like that. But if it's not, then I could rant on about like being rich and famous and all of the other things. But right now I want to be a very uh, successful uh, teacher. Freedom and, you know, freedom not at the cost of peace. My only wish would be like the, uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, country freedoms get back. The world goes back to how it was, where money is not is not the most important thing. To go back to once to my country, Tibet. And just when I was, when I entered, the, you know, when I opened my door, I can I can see that you know Lhasa. Lhasa means. Um, capital city of Tibet. I can feel and I just remember my childhood days and I'm just, you know, remember spending my time with my parents and all. Uh, I feel happy. कसम है कसम से हमको प्यार है सिर्फ तुम से चंजू इज लविंग द बेस्ट